Hey, good morning. So for today's episode, I thought maybe I'd show you how I actually record and video, like so how I do the podcast and vlog uh, for the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. Uh, let's go for a ride. Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. And as you know, I don't know nothing. As you know, I know nothing. <laughs> No, I'm just a dude on a bike, trying to evolve as a filmmaker, poet, and human being. I love riding a bicycle. How's your ride going? I am so grateful to be on the ride with you this morning. This morning I thought we'd get into, a lot of people have been asking me recently, how do you record a podcast and a vlog from a bicycle? <clears throat> So let's just get right into that. If you're not interested in that, it's gonna be a fairly technical one. And then we got some big news at the end, of course. So skip to the end. Maybe I'll try to remember to put it in the description in the YouTube. What note, what note, <laughs> what time marker you can scoot down to. Who are you guys? Oh, you're mallards, okay. I don't know if you've noticed all the geese pairing up recently. It's awfully cool. I don't even know that they know why they're doing it yet. <laughs> it's like a junior high dance at this point. All right, so audio is first. When I started this podcast, I recorded using a Rode Smart Lab Plus lavalier microphone, and it plugged right into the bottom of my iPhone 6S, and I used the Voice Memo app as the recorder. And that's how I started this whole podcast which is those two things. But then I got a new phone, I got the iPhone 10, and it didn't have the port with the three rings for stereo sound and then the mic. So like, you know, like you're, uh, if you look at the end of your, hey, good morning. If you look at the end of your earbuds, I think it's got three rings on it, whereas if you look at the end of a regular set of headphones that doesn't have a microphone, it's only got two rings. So I got an adapter for my phone, and I did that a couple of times, and it ended up not working. The adapter would slide out. It's just not a robust connection. So I found, I've been using the Zoom recorders, audio recorders for a long time. So I found the Zoom, H1N recorder and an adapter that went from the three ring to the two ring so that I could plug that Rode Smart Lab into the Zoom H1N recorder. Now this means that I can record at 96 kilohertz and then when I uh, export that for video at 48 it still has quite a bit, uh, I, I, I've got a lot more detail in the sound. And then for the MP3 at 44.1, still again, you know, that much more detail. So I love that combination, the Rode Smart Lab Plus. Oh, and then I got a big fuzzy windscreen. Now, you'll see that I strap it to my backpack strap. This makes it easy for mic placement, a little bit of off axis, as they call it. Not direct in front but a little off axis makes the sound sound a little more natural like we actually hear it in the real world. And then the windscreen helps keep the wind noise down while I'm on the bike, because obviously that's a problem. That was actually one of the reasons I wanted to try this podcast from a bicycle was, can we mitigate the wind noise and or use it as part of the story? So we're on a ride together. There's gotta be a little bit of road noise, especially with the studded tires <laughs> and a little bit of wind noise. <clears throat> And then at some point, I decided to start doing video, and so I strapped a GoPro to my handlebars, and that gave me all kinds of, uh, <laughs> I felt a little seasick. So I got a chest strap. So we've got the YouTube with the chest strap. And then the intros, I used to do those while I was riding, holding the iPhone. And then what I do, <clears throat> and now I've been doing it with my uh, Canon 80D, in my office in the mornings before I get on the ride because it's just so cold right now and it's hard to hold a phone right now and I'm afraid of dropping it in the cold because I can't feel my digits so much.
But I've got to stop and get coffee, you guys. But I want to tell you how I've put it all together. So then it's basically a second two system audio is what they call it. We've got the H1N recorder and we use all the audio from it. Now that's not always true, but lately I haven't been and, uh, and it sounded like crap. Which brings me to, well, okay. And then so then I use uh, Adobe Premiere. Whoa, they are so big. I use Adobe Premiere and I drop the, uh, the iPhone footage in and then I drop the GoPro in and then I put my audio track from the H1N audio recorder in and then I match up all the audio, chop off the ends where I'm starting and stopping and hitting buttons and stuff. And that's it, it really is that simple. And then I export at um, 320 kilobits, mono 44.1 for an MP3 for um, Apple for iTunes. And then, uh, you know, it, it just, it automatically sets the correct audio for me uh, when I export for uh, H.264 video. And I know that's getting into some stuff, but it's coffee time. And you guys, I gotta say, I love riding with you. Thank you for letting me ride with you this morning. This is gonna be the last Morning Ride Pedal Powered podcast. I am, I'm ready to do something different. I think I've just run out of things to say using this format, which I have loved so much. I have loved being able to ride with you and just have this free flow uh, kind of conversation and whatever happens, happens. I absolutely love that. Um, but I think as far as recording that kind of thing, I think I've said all that I can say because the last few episodes have been ridiculous and I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to keep producing stuff that's just ridiculous. One thing that is very important, if you do love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. Um, whatever that is, I hope that you have an opportunity to get out on your ride today. Because folks, it's the only one we get. 